Ballet dancers move their bodies in the most incredible ways. They twist and spin and stretch and jump. So how is it that they can do these amazing things? Hi, I'm Sue. And I'm Jodie. And today we're here at La Trobe University and we're working with the Australian Ballet and we're using cutting edge technology to really discover more about these amazing dancing athletes. We first did a series of scans using MRI machines. The way ballet dancers move is unique. So for comparison, we also scanned a series of other athletes such as tennis and basketball players. And then we looked at the joints and we looked at the specific shape of the bones. From our research, we discovered that ballet dancers actually have slightly different shaped hip joints to the rest of us. Their hip bones are turned slightly out to the side which helps them with a lot of their movement, including, of course, the turnout. When they take their legs up, they rotate their leg outwards, so that's turnout. So now we need to see these joints in action. And to do this, we used our motion capture lab. In here, we attach a series of reflective markers to the dancers at different joints and parts of the body. A series of infrared cameras around the room captures the reflective dots as the dancer completes a range of movements. That gives us a good picture of how their bodies operate. So the cameras send the data to the computer software. Here we can see the dots depicted on the screen. After we've captured everything, we turn the dots into full animations. The software uses maths to calculate the distance between the dots based on joints in the body. This builds up into a 3D image. The same technology is used to create some animated films, but for us, it means that we can investigate biomechanics. That means we can study the mechanics of the whole body, especially related to the forces of the ballet-specific movements. This may show us whether a dancer is at risk of injury and whether there are improvements that they can make to their performance. We also have force plates in the floor, which measure the pressure applied as the dancers move their feet and land from jumps. We can combine this information with the animation to measure how much stress is being applied to certain joints. We can then help make adjustments to prevent unnecessary strain. As physiotherapists, we also use this information to figure out where injuries might be coming from and how to treat them. So we're going to continue to use this technology to look at dancers as well as lots of other athletes. So by reducing the injury rate and the need for surgery, we hope to extend a dancer's career and ensure that dancers and athletes have better health. <laughs>